Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel TechyJack. In this video we will see how to configure OpenFire chat server with LDAP configuration. So let's see how to do that. Now I am on a Windows Server 2016 and I have downloaded the OpenFire latest version of OpenFire software and I will quickly go and install this software and once it is installed then we will configure it with the Active Directory LDAP settings and it was already installed earlier so it has a file there existing file so I'm just overwriting this file and this computer is my uh, DC that's the domain controller and I'm putting my chat server on this domain controller and the name of the domain controller is TechyJack. If you want to see the Active Directory, let me show you the Active Directory. This is my domain. So let's see. Let's go with the setup. Uh, I'm choosing the English language, and you can choose one of the best for you so here it says um, domain name is the computer name is server01 and the domain is techyjack.com let's continue with this screen and here we will select the embedded database and click on continue and now here I will select the directory server that is the LDAP server and we'll click on continue and here the actually I ran the installation earlier and I just closed it so it is now packing the same value the base DN and administrator DN but from where you can take this value the base DN you can go to the active directory and users and first of all you have to just make sure that the advanced feature is checked here go to the users properties attribute and distinguish name see here this is the cn user dc techyjack dot dc dot com i just copied this for the base dn and i paste this base dn here and for the administrator dn i just went to the administrator properties attribute and just press the T and you will see the distinguished name for the administrator I just copied this and I paste it here and the password for the administrator and the test the setting and it says the status success connection settings status success so click on save and continue and now you will get this screen and you can just click on save and continue and again save and continue add an administrator okay I'll add my name and we'll click on add it says choose one of the more user from the active directory and Jack is a user which is not there so let me create a new user by the name of Jack and I'll give him a permission with the administrator right uh -oh. it's a member of it should be the member of administrator okay apply okay and now I'll click on Jack click on add continue now it says setup complete log into the admin console let's see password for the check it works or not it 
okay it works because it worked with the password I gave in the active directory here on the password what I gave this user and I just put that password and it worked now the LDAP has been configured if you want to create a new user you cannot create a new user from here because it says not allow the user account system is read only where you have to create the user as it's a LDAP and LDAP has been configured you have to create the user inside your active directory either you can create your organization unit and you can put the user there and all the user will be able to log in there if you want to check the login you can go ahead and uh, install the spark software which is a client for this open fire software and let me quickly go ahead and install this software and once it is installed we will check that and by the way you can just see the settings here if you see the server and you see the system properties here you can see the properties and if you want to see the email settings you can set the email settings here like your mail host and server port you can work with this option as well if you have the settings and let me go to the server settings and you can see the server to client to client and server connection that means uh, open fire chat can accept plain text connection with this port and this is a client to server setting so that means you have to open this port on your uh, firewall so that other uh, client can connect with your domain with this server like the, this is a domain controller and this is our chat server that means this port uh, has to be open for the client connection and let's see if we are able to log in with jack user or not it's a jack at the rate techjack dot com password for this user and IP address for the chat server it says invalid name let me try with the jack ok it went through the active directory user of jack was successfully able to log in and in the next uh, video we will see how we can record the chat with the like if you have a many of user inside your organization and you want to record the chat and you want to see the real time chat between those user you can just monitor those chat as well so in the next video we will see how to monitor the chat and how to record those settings guys if you like the video please do subscribe the channel for more updates